The Survivor's Exhibit at Moat Marine Aquarium is just what it sounds like, a collection of animals with unique capabilities that often keep them alive. SNN's Melissa Warren, joining us now from our newsroom, visited with them today and has more now on why now is the right time to go see them. Melissa? There are only two weeks left to see the Survivor's Exhibit, which ends September 14th. If you want to get out of the heat, it's a great place to come and check out these cool animals um, that most of them we've never had here at Moat before and we probably won't ever have again. So it's a, a great last opportunity these couple two weeks to come in and check them out. Dolphins, turtles, manatees are all animals you expect to see at Moat on a regular basis, but this is not. A lot of them have extreme adaptations that they develop to survive, whether it be like our mantis shrimp that has a very powerful punch. It, uh, the punch that its claws can deliver are equal to a 22 caliber bullet. We also have poison dart frogs. Um, we also have um, venomous jellyfish. And we also have a blue ring octopus, one of the most venomous cephalopods in the world, on display here. And when it comes feeding time, they'll put on a show. You won't find most of these guys in Florida, but Barniscus says some of them you may, and if you do, you'll want to be careful. Uh, if you go diving in our local waters, you may come across some lionfish, which do have uh, venomous spines on them. However, they tend to hide under rocks and crevices and stuff like that, so they're not very harmful to humans, but uh, they are something to be aware of. Barniscus says with time running out, Labor Day weekend is a great time to meet these beautiful and in some cases, not so beautiful creatures. Excellent, because you can come and get out of the heat. Come in here, relax, get, uh, get into some cool air conditioning, and check out the beautiful animals that we have, and learn something, be inspired, be educated. And Survivors is the third temporary exhibit to come to Moat Marine Aquarium, but Barniscus says it won't be the last. They're, they aren't telling us what it is yet, but they're already planning their next one. Well, I know some of those exhibits at Moat, you can actually put your hands in the water, but it sounds like this is not one of those. No. <laughs> and, and the question I have, is it actually going to be open for Labor Day, um, Melissa, since a lot of places are closed? Well, yes, the aquarium will actually be open for regular hours on Monday. All right, Melissa. Well, if you're going, have a good time, and thank you. Enjoy your holiday weekend.